Hello everyone, and welcome back. Alright, tonight I reached into the locks that the dude sent me. The lock picking Lebowski. And again, dude, thank you for all the awesome locks you sent me. Um, and yeah, guys, if you haven't checked out his channel yet, please go check out his channel. Um, but anyways, I grabbed, um, he's got a couple Yales here. He calls them the Wonder Twins. Difficulty A and Difficulty B. Um, this is A, and this one here is B. But we're going to try to get into A tonight. And, um, yeah, we'll hopefully get in it and we'll be able to take a peek inside. Um, the key hangs up a little bit and I think that the um, clip is a little tight on the back. But shouldn't be a problem. Um, this is the bidding on the key, so it looks like pretty much everything in this lock is going to have to be picked. But let's see if we could do that. Alright, um, I know this ain't going to fit, but I'm going to try it anyway. Yeah, that's the 50. I usually have to use a 40 in these Yales. Wish it was a little tighter. But, alright. Um, I'm going to try to work off that ledge. So, I'm going to hopefully get it. Or at least start with this um, kind of a short hook, one of mine. And actually, let me zoom this up for us. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Yales are pretty tough locks to begin with. Alright. Pin three. Oh, nice little click. Oh, another click. And another click. So, okay, and another one fell. Look how we're still getting some counter rotation off of it. Pin four, maybe? Okay, I gotta click off a four. Very small click off a of five. Okay, I might have got him. I think I did. We got something going on here. Possibly pin two. Okay, I lost that false set a little bit. To drop something. Pin one. find somebody else talking. I think it's pin one again. Alright, we got a really deep false set now. Alright, I think I just tapped. Oh, we're open on four. Awesome. Whew, that was a pretty tough lock. These yells, like I said, with that warning, that could be tough lock to begin with. Alright, let's see what we have inside of this lock. I'm grab my, let me zoom this back out for us. I'm grab my pinning tray. Okay, let me lock this up. That could be a little difficult to get that clip off. Probably have to go with this and spread it out. Come on. I 
think I'm going to replace this clip anyway, so it was a little tight. I do have quite a few clips now. Okay, let's see what we have here. I have both sets of keys on this keychain for A and B. It's very tight. Okay, I think we're all the way. Okay, let's see what we got. There's all five pins. And like I said, look at that, they all had to be picked. Wow. They are, that's about the farthest I've ever seen pins in a lock. Holy crap, and there is threading in every single one of those chambers. All right, well, let's see what we have here. Pin one is a serrated. Pin two is standard, but it is beveled on the top. Same with three, beveled. Same with four. Again, these are all beveled on the top. And five is another serrated. Not sure if those are commercial or if he did those. But um, yeah, we've got threading in every chamber here. Oh, and the top. Oh. I don't even know where that came from. Hmm, this might have been in the bottom here. In there. Yeah, I think it was in there. All right, I'll put that back. Okay, pin one. We have a kind of like a barrel pin serrated on um, both ends there. Of course, a spring that doesn't want to come out. I think that's a little steel spring. <clears throat> okay, pin two. T pin. And they are sticking to my. Okay, and there's a wafer. Okay, maybe he had it as a drunken spool then. Wasn't sure how that came out. I don't know why they're all sticking here. But he must have had that as a drunken spool then, with that wafer. Kind of popped out before I could see it, but I'm sure that's the way he had it. Otherwise he wouldn't have had the wafer. And then we have another one of those barrel type, serrated. And a very... These can't be magnetic, because those pins, <laughs> those are just um, brass. I don't know why they're sticking to my tweezers, unless my tweezers have glue on them or something. Okay, but we have another spool here in four. A little brass spring, and number five, we will go this way. Okay, we have it as a T-pin this time in five. So I'm not, I don't think any of those are homemade pins. And that came out, so there's a very good chance you might even have some threading in here. Mm, nope, nothing done there. All right, well, let's check out these pins, guys. All right, so we have a serrated in one, <clears throat> and then two, three, and four <clears throat> are all these, but you can see the top is all beveled. And then we have another serrated here in five. And then up top we have this barrel type of serrated pin. I don't know if they call those acid type pins. I don't, I don't really remember. And then this one here, he had it as a drunken spool. 
because it was wafer. Another one of these um, barrel or acid type pins here. Another spool here in four, and he had this one as a T-pin here in five. Springs are a little bit different. We have a steel spring, copper, steel, copper, and another steel. But yeah, that is one of the win Wonder Twins. <clears throat> Thank you very much, <clears throat> excuse me, dude, for pinning up this lock and sending it to me. It was definitely a fun lock to pick. And, uh, yeah, guys, if you have any questions or comments, comment below. And, uh, yeah, everybody please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.